Welcome to our noonday bite and sip. It is a joy on behalf of the parish of St. Hilda's Fairbank to share this noonday devotion with you. I am Kenyut Francis, priest in charge. These devotions come also with lay participation. So I have sharing with me today, Richard Morris, who is the deputy rector's warden. Thanks Richard for your willingness to share in this devotion. Richard will be our liturgist today. You're welcome. In these challenging times, it is important that we keep connected with God and with each other. Our well being is very important. Bite and Sip is intended to offer us an opportunity to feast on God's grace through prayer, through Bible reading, through meditation, and singing. The responses for today will be in different colors depending on the slide. We invite you to join in the worship by making the responses. now a call to worship to God the only son who saves us through Jesus Christ our Lord belong glory and honor and power and victory forever and ever amen the time for harvest is close at hand what have you done with the gifts God has given you we have brought our gifts to the house of the Lord. Praise God for the gifts and for opportunities for service that they represent. We praise God for all the ways in which our lives have been blessed. Generous God, accept our gifts and our lives this day. Loving God, accept our praise and our gratitude. Amen. Amen. I invite you to prayer. Let us pray. 
God, our kind and loving Father, there is so much you have entrusted to us. Even the future of your kingdom of justice and love. Give us the grace to work out with you the growth of mercy and goodness in this world. To be united with all Christians and with all who seek you with a sincere heart and bring in reconciliation and joy to everyone. Our living and loving God, help us walk together. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5, which will be said responsively. O my soul, bless God. From head to toe, I'll bless his holy name. O my soul, bless God. Don't forget a single blessing. He forgives your sins and everyone. He heals your diseases, everyone. He redeems you from hell, saves your life. He crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. He renews your youth. You're always young in his presence. God makes everything come out right. He puts victims back on their feet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The reading from the scripture. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. For it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. The one, then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward saying, master, you handed over to me two talents, see, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward saying, master, I knew that you were a harsh man reaping where you did not sow and gathering 
where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, you wicked and lazy slave, you knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the 10 talents for to all those who have more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just a few thoughts today. God has entrusted us with talents, with abilities, with gifts, and it is our responsibility to use them. We are called to be stewards at our best, maximizing our talents for the greater good. But this happens when we see God for who God truly is. In Matthew 25, Jesus uses three parables to answer one question. This is the question, what should we do while we wait for the coming of the Son of Man? The first parable in verses 1 to 13 is the parable of the ten virgins. And the answer in that parable is, while we wait, we are to be ready, to be awake, to be aware of our purpose, our responsibilities, and also God's expectations of us but we are also to fulfill them. The second parable, which is today's reading of the talents, the kingdom of heaven is an, is as active of, is, is an active divine generosity likened to a man who entrusts great wealth, power, freedom, and responsibilities to his workers so that they could be used to the best of their ability while he was away from them. Upon his return, he calls for accountability. The first two used their talents and had great results and therefore secured their master's praise and commendation. But the third buried his talent and therefore yielded no results the master took from him the one talent. A reminder, if you do not use it, you will lose it. Dietrich Bonhoeffer says, the sin of respectable people is running away from responsibility. Bearing his talent is as a consequence of his premature judgment that he conceived about his master, which hindered his ability to be fruitful. It is a warning to be careful of how we conceive God. If we see God as partial, as a punisher, as hard, as unloving and uncaring, as unprotective and absent, then we will never be energized to be at our best. We will spend most of our time complaining, being angry and therefore impotent. When God is seen and experienced as impartial, as, un, as forgiving, loving, caring, protective, and saving, and fulfilling our desires and our joys, then we see and approach life differently. We make sacrifices. We take risk for the kingdom 
we become fruitful. Someone says, your talent is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift to God. As Christians, our fruitfulness will depend on how we see God. May we see God for who God is. Amen. So we invite you now to join in prayer as um, Richard will lead us in the intercession. Let us pray. Lord God, we give thanks. We give you thanks for all your gifts to us, for daily bread, for health, for each breath we take, for freedom to choose, and for the gifts of your word, your power, and your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Our hearts are truly overwhelmed, O oh God. When we consider all that you are and how you have entrusted so much to us, may we be worthy of that trust. May we be a people who are unafraid to live as fully and as richly as you want us to live. Lord, hear our prayer. Help us, O oh God, as followers of Jesus, to multiply all that you given us, to risk spreading your word and perhaps see it misunderstood, to love those whom others think worthy only of hate, who take chances by doing good to those who have not done good to us. Help us be faith-filled and to desire to increase your glory and your goodness in this world. Make us ones who share in both word and deed that which you have given to us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, O oh God, for the church, that it may encourage all its members to discover, develop, and use all their gifts, those of nature and those of grace for the well-being of the whole human race. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are poor in body or in spirit, for those who are oppressed and heavy laden, for those who are sick or in despair. Minister, O oh God, by your spirit and by us, to all those for whom we have prayed, and help us walk faithfully in the path of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who taught us to pray together as one family saying, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Act of Thanksgiving. Blessed be God, who creates out of nothing, who shapes beauty out of chaos, breathes life into dust, 
delights in designing difference and embodies in each human the image of our maker. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God who gives each person a purpose, calling the young for their energy and the old for their wisdom, refusing to discriminate in terms of race, color, intellect, and giftness. Affirming forgotten worth, identifying hidden potential, redeeming deep regrets. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God who forsakes heaven to live on earth, who in Jesus is truly flesh of our flesh and bone of our bone, vulnerable to pain, rumor, and conflict, open to question, committed to heal, sentenced to death, destined to resurrection, vindicating the power and the love of God, ever holy, ever one. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be maker, the son and the spirit in our lives, in our work and in our worship. Amen. And now for the blessing, the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore. Amen. Amen. So remember, noonday, bite and sip um, is streamed every Tuesday and Thursday. So Thursday, July 16 will be our next um, Sunday service, July 19th, 10.30, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. And that will be streamed as well on Facebook and on our website. And also at 12 noon on July the 19th, as every Sunday we now have a program for our Sunday school, online program. And our online program is called K4J, K4J, Kids for Jesus. And that is aired um, at 12 noon each Sunday. Thanks today for the music from Martin De Groot. Um, the song as the deer before the hymn and then followed will be take my life and let it be and also saying thanks to Richard Morris for assisting today with Bite and Sip. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>